Okay, guys, now that we've got the VTX set up, now we're going to get into BL Heli. So if you haven't downloaded BL Heli, remember, there is a software download on our page here um, on our website. I'm going to go ahead and click disconnect here as well. By the way, if you haven't disconnected, go ahead. Don't forget on our page here, on our downloads page, right here is the BL Heli suite. And I would use the first one right here. And I've got a video on how to do that as well. So if you need help with that, you'll find that video series in here. Okay, so what we want to do now is, uh, if, assuming you have BL Heli loaded, it's going to be the BL Heli S version, the 16-bit version, which is right here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna launch that now. Here's what we need to do though. We have got to get our drone ready to uh, plug into power, but your VTX is gonna get hot, so we need to do something about your VTX. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me just show you this real quickly. Before you go give this power, go ahead and disconnect your USB and be careful when you disconnect this. Okay, just pull it gently. All right. And what I want you to do is, if you can, you basically have this this. Uh, uh, plug right here is your VTX plug. It's got all your power wires to your VTX. We want to disconnect it. So I'm just going to use some tweezers and get right in there and just disconnect it. Okay. I don't want to take the top off because it's kind of a pain. If you can't get it disconnected like this, then you can go ahead and take the top off and put your fingers in there or whatever. But basically what I want to do is, as you can see right here, I've now disconnected the plug. This way my VTX doesn't power up and it doesn't overheat. The big thing is you don't want it to overheat. Okay. All right. Now that we're at this point, here's what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and plug your USB back in. mine in there okay there we go and now what we're gonna do because BL Heli will not work if you haven't powered up your drone so get your battery or your AC to DC converter whatever it is get ready to plug that in and then turn your drone on and listen that's the sound you want to hear that means your drone start up and ready to go now let's go to BL Heli so once we're in BL Heli it's going to ask you what COM port you're on. If you don't see that, make sure to go to the top here under select uh, select your options here, Atmel or Scilabs. So you're going to go down here and you're just going to make sure you have, you could select one of these two, E right here, or you could select um, right here as well. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to select E. So make sure E is on. That way you see your COM ports here and then drop down and make sure you have your right COM port. So there's COM port 88 there and this is COM port 88. One thing to keep in mind is you can you can have BL or Betaflight open like this, but you cannot be connected to Betaflight when you're connecting this, okay? If you are, it will give you an error on this side since it cannot open the port. So you can leave Betaflight open, but make sure you're disconnected, all right? So now what you're going to do is once you have the COM port selected, click Read Setup. And what's going to happen is it's going to populate your numbers here, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and that's to match your ESC signal, ESC pads, 1, 2, 3, and 4 for your motors, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Look at what it says up here, okay? We have all of our revision 16.6. I'm going to click OK. All right, and what we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and we want to flash this. We want to update it, so click Flash BL Heli. It's going to automatically populate with the new version. Click OK. Click Yes, and it's going to do one ESC at a time, okay? So we're gonna do ESC number one. Then you're gonna click okay. And we're gonna do ESC number two now, so it's gonna come up, we're gonna click okay, yes. Okay. Then we're going to go to ESC number three. So we're going to click OK and yes. All right, and then we're going to do ESC number four. We're going to click OK and yes. Awesome. Once that's done, it's going to redo all of these right here, and you're going to see everything come back up. It just read it. Click OK. All right, now we're not going to touch anything else here right now because now what we need to do is we need to go back and calibrate. So what we're going to do is we're going to click uh, Write Setup just, just to make sure. It should be nothing to write. Click OK, and then click Disconnect. Okay? Now, once you disconnect, pay very close attention to what we're going to do next. So I'm going to switch here. First thing you have to do is you have to disconnect or turn off whatever you're doing, make sure you have no power. If you're using a battery, disconnect your battery, okay? And you can leave the USB plugged in, but do not have any power going to it because the next step is gonna be uh, very important to this. So here we go, let's get back to this real quickly. 
You can minimize your BL Heli now and get back to beta flight. Click connect. All right. Come down to your motor tab. Scroll down to here and turn this on that says, I understand the risk of propeller. Make sure the propellers are removed. Basically, you're going to get ready to arm your drone. Okay. So turn this on. Make sure you have no propellers, obviously. Now you see these light up. I want you to take the master control and I want you to take it all the way to the top. Now, nothing's going to happen yet because you have no battery plugged in. Okay. What you're going to do next is once it's up there like that, you're going to take this and plug it in. You're going to hear some tones. Now, listen carefully. That's the first set of tones, and when's that, when that's done, drag this down. Excellent. That's the second set of tones. Now that that's done, switch this off. Click Disconnect. Find your BL Heli that you minimized. Click Read Setup. Remember, everything's plugged in now. You see all these that are not in sync? We're going to go ahead and put them in sync. Okay? So that basically means that these are not set up to run at the same speed when the toggle, when your throttle switch is at the same level. So if you move your throttle and it's got a value of 1200, the motors are gonna spin at different speeds right now because they're not synchronized. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna synchronize the ESCs and motors right now. What you're gonna do, and I'm gonna get a pad of paper because I wanna explain this a little bit easier, okay? So let me just find the scratch piece of paper here. All right, what, what we're gonna do is I want you to, and I'm gonna try to do this like this so I can at least, uh, let me make some space here. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen, and I want you to do this. I want you to put one, two, three, and four. That stands for motors, okay? So that'd be motors. And then I want you to put a minimum column and a maximum column. And what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to BL Heli, and you're going to right-click on number one. Now, right-click. That isolates it, okay? Single ESC number one. And you see this up here? Min throttle and max throttle. I want you to write the numbers. Min throttle is 1012, and max throttle is 2008. Okay, then come down and right click on box number two to isolate it. Box two, motor two is 1016 and 2008. Okay, then come back down, right click here, three, 1016, and then what does that say? 2012. Okay, and then number four, 1016, 2008. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to look at our minimum and our maximum, okay? So the minimum that all the motors can achieve, right? So four can get to one, 1016, three can get to 1016, two can get to 1016, one can get to 1016, and it can go even lower to 1012. But the other ones are not going to 1012, which means all of them need to be 1016. So the minimum value is going to be the lowest value which all motors can achieve. So that's going to be 1016. Let's look at the maximum. One can go to 208, two can go to 208, three can go to 2012, and four can go to 208. So all, all four motors can go to 2008, and then three can go even higher to 2012. But these other ones can't, which means that the maximum value is going to be the lowest number, which is going to be 2008. Okay, and that's how we're going to synchronize these. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to left click on all the motors. There we go. So they're all highlighted and we're going to set these values. So we're going to go 1016 for the minimum and 2008 for the maximum. And we're going to click as long as all this is lit up and we're going to remove this check mark right here. Okay. So on all four motors selected, 1016, now your values may be different than mine. Make sure you remove this check box right here and then click right setup. Click OK. Now you click Disconnect. And you have just configured, you have just synchronized and configured your, ESC, your ESCs. So now you can minimize BL Heli, go back here, all right? And let's go back to our Motors tab, all right? And now we're going to go ahead and turn this on, and we're going to just move the throttle just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. And all of them are running nicely. Everything looks good, okay? Now, we have one problem left, okay? When you run these, if you take that same piece of paper or a piece of your tape or whatever, when you touch the motor, take notice of what direction the tape goes. See how that's going to the left? That means that's going clockwise. And motor three, it's still going to the left, okay? It's going clockwise. Motor two, clockwise. Motor one, clockwise. Okay, well, we can't have all the motors. Let's turn this off now. 
We can't have all the motors going clockwise. So the default motor setup says this. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my drone around so you can see it the way it's listed on the screen there. Okay, well, let me unplug this real quick. So if you look at the picture right here, and you look at my drone, right? Let me get this paper out here. Motor one is this motor, is supposed to be turning to the right, which is clockwise. Motor two, based on that picture, should be going counterclockwise to the left. Motor three should be going counterclockwise, and motor four should be going clockwise. So these two should be turning to the right, these two should be turning to the left. But in this case, all four are turning to the right, so basically motors two and three are incorrect. So we need to fix that. Here's what we do to fix that. I'm gonna plug this back in, okay? And I'm gonna disconnect from Betaflight. I'm gonna go back to BL Heli. I'm gonna read the setup, okay? And I'm going to go here and I'm gonna remember now, motors two and three are spinning clockwise and they need to be counterclockwise. So we're gonna right click on motor two and we're gonna go up, so it's isolated. We're gonna go up here to where it says uh, motor direction and it says normal and I want you to click it one time. It's gonna to go to reverse. I want you to right setup. That's gonna write motor two. Then I want you to right click on motor three right here. Do the same thing, reverse, right setup. Okay, and then disconnect. Now watch. When I go back to BL Heli and I go to my motors tab, now when I arm this, and I'm gonna do this in order to make sure all my motors spin the way they're supposed to. So I'm gonna just increase motor one, which is this motor right here. Okay, it's turning and it's going to the right. Motor two, which is right here. And it's turning and it's going to the left. Motor three, it's turning and it's going to the left. Motor four, it's turning and going to the right. So our directions, clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise are set. And motor one spun right, motor two spun right. I mean, correctly, I mean, motor three spun correctly and motor four spun correctly. If you happen to move motor one up here and a different motor other than motor one spins, you have a resource issue that we will have in our troubleshooting if you have that problem. But if you've wired this like I did in the video, you won't have that problem. All right, so now our motors are spinning the right direction. So look at that. We are now, we can flip that tab and we can click disconnect, all right? And at this point, we're going to remove our power altogether and just kind of sit our drone here and we're ready to go. So we're done with this. The next step is gonna be, let's set up our FreeSky XM Plus with our radio. And we're gonna use the X9 light in this example, okay? So I'll be right back with that video.